all amount. Wow. Um, for the train, oh, let's see, at the San Francisco, I think the museum has moved someplace else. It was on an abandoned Navy yard, uh, the San Francisco, I think it was called the Golden Gate Railroad uh, Club. It was a hundred and fifty dollar donation, uh, and that included an hour of training, or it was an hour. You 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 got an hour. It was a half hour, and, and they it's, they started from scratch. They started with the engine on a track not running, and had to check the oil and you know the those diesel engines are monstrous and had to start them oh steam well they certainly don't teach you how to drive a, a steam train right because there are nine million uh buttons and levers and gauges hey chumley Empty Pocket said, I have jokes about unemployed people, but none of them work. Uh uh. Monticello Railroad Museum. All right. Is that Monticello in New York? Doug M. Monticello, where? Illinois. The, oh, Illinois. Okay. Whatever on the main boiler can get interesting. Wow. I was on a coal-fired train. I got a sin in my eye. Oh, yeah. Hey, Roberto. Yeah, steam trains are horrendous. When I was a kid uh, up in the country, we, there, was, there were still steam trains, and we used to go down to the bridge that the train went under. And just as the locomotive went under the bridge you would duck down but boy you would get rained on cinders for about 20 minutes after hey mandy the clown you were a fireman on a steam engine wow dick where in the country did you spend? It was a place called Lake Rogerine near Neckong, New Jersey. And the thing I liked about that was when we would go to the lumber yard, the lumber yard was so big, it actually had its own siding. And every once in a while, you could watch a locomotive push a boxcar of lumber into the lumber yard and and it just stayed in there until it was empty and then they came and got it again so while my father was shopping for lumber i got to climb all over this box car yeah my rejoice is here i'm just about ready hey becky okay we're waiting for mr burke to give us the all clear Boxcar Willie. Leisure suit Larry at the Lumber Yard. No, no. I'm looking for the video Train Fire Rain. You know, the sad thing about uh train travel now i mean it's a, it's a good thing for safety is so many so much of the track is welded track that there is no clickety clack of railroad cars anymore i have a little machine that makes that <laughs> makes that sound <laughs> of the trains going over the the rails morning rail morning morning rail I can name all the train movies. Wow. Runaway Train. Oh, was it, it was just called Runaway, wasn't it? That was a really an exciting movie. No. 
video of a train getting hit by a tornado. Mike B, I, I have been to Brooklyn to the um it's down by the river. There is still a railroad barge. You know, when I was uh when I moved to this neighborhood, one of the biggest rail yards ever had just closed. It had 18 tracks, a roundhouse and a dozen piers where they were loaded railroad barges they, it was amazing i mean all I, all I got to see was lumber falling into the river but uh <laughs> next if i remember next week i'll send a book it's a, a horrible photo memory that i found online <laughs> i think i'm ready to give this a shot oh okay can you boost your volume a little burke i can how about there how about there oh, that's better am i yelling no you're not yelling at all okay this is perfect I'm kind of i'm kind of soft-spoken until i'm not oh okay well hit the hard spoken button that's good <laughs> oh very good okay this is the Giz Fizz, episode 491. It's September 3rd, 2022. We are going to start in three, two. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for... It's the Giz Fizz with the Giz Whiz. It's kind of like cheese whiz it's the giz fizz and now your host matt mattis Ryder, and the giz whiz dick di bartolo welcome to regular old-fashioned giz fizz wow Wow, we have Bargain Basement Burke on the TriCaster. And the girls, even though it's a holiday weekend, they brought their harps in. Uh, it's great. It's great. We're doing uh, photo captions. Well, you make up the captions, the photos from George Davis. We have fun facts. This week, I'm not even asking for chat room celebrity of the week because uh, after we do George's stuff, I found an old video of Leo and I from a little more than 13 years ago talking about copper bottom pots. Uh, 2009. That were so crappy. I personally kept the company in business, and, and I'll tell you why after we see the video. Uh, okay, so, oh, I know we're going to play what the heck what the heck is it <laughs> we're gonna play uh you write snappy answers to a stupid question and we're gonna do logo and some match game all on this holiday edition a regular old-fashioned giz fizz um okay george davis photo number one for you to caption is this right here <laughs> all right um god i don't know well, let me see what george put <laughs> okay i'll use george's description small wooden objects one is set apart from the others all right they are yeah they are they're like cones with heads and there's a group of them, and then one by itself. Uh, so that can be whatever you want it to be. Let me look up. Wooden Rally, my fellow infant chessmen, uh, runaway bowling pins, decapitated drumsticks, uh, the pawn leading the pawns. Uh, oh, what well, are they going? Oh, my God, they're so fast. Is the chess game really over? Uh, 18 peeps, pawn me. Oh, great. March of the Wooden Soldiers. Listen. Listen all. When you see the bald ball coming all dispersed, 
Hey guys, the chessboard is on this way. You're probably wondering why I called you here today. Uh, crown me. Invasion of the chessmen snatchers. Follow the leader. Okay, men, here's the battle plan. You may wonder why I called this meeting. I am your leader. Hey, where did our arms go? Eliminated from the game. A discussion between pawns. Okay, guys, this time nobody starts a campfire. Pornography. Oh, that's very funny. Porn church. We are the pinheads. You're probably wondering why I called you all here today. Um, hello, I'm a person. I'm here to tell you why I should run away. What are we? Just pawns in their game? Convention of bald people? poorly drawn hey you don't look at that look at this why are we naked bald-headed chest pieces lack of arms i smile look ma no hands this is the all new chessboard pieces anti-race anti-gender you're all individuals i'm not choir members with the conductor I was wondering why the bowling ball got bigger. Then it hit me. <laughs> and we'll end with pawns on the march to the pawn shop. Uh, that was Doug. Okay. George said, for the small wooden objects, one set away from the others. My caption is, Billy, you've been chosen to become a bowling pin. That's a great honor in this city. Uh, well, you got matches, George. Several people said bowling pins. Okay, photo two. Photo two. I guess they're eggs, right? Uh, look like eggs in a foam core container. Okay. Eggs or whatever you want them to be. Standing in a foam core container. Um, I hear an IRC alert. Leg some eggs on me. The good egg. Hey, who ate one before we were ready? Birth control. We bleached the white ones. Life, right? You always get break one to learn. Get cracking. Excellent hiding place. Another excellent. Don't ask me what happened to Bob. Oh, no. One escaped. One hatched, is in, one hatched and is in college now. Time flies. Moment of silence for our cracked member. Who can throw the last egg in the carton? One hatched. Continuity at the egg count plant is malfunctioning. Points up. Don't egg me on. Your joke cracked up Fred. Who ate Benny? Lego my ego. Rough road ahead. Vault in training. Choir members, one missing. Uh, we got one of the, We got rid of the bad egg. Uh, that is one good one. What happened to the George guys? He cracked me up. Martha must be absent, and we'll end with Ranger Rick. Not exactly a full set. Egg exactly a full set. Okay. Oh, George didn't even call them eggs. George said, for the photo of unknown brown-shaped objects, my caption is, add one of these to a warm cup of milk. You'll see it's delicious. Okay, photo three. Uh, um, oh, helium balloons in the sky. Um, there are regular balloons and heart shaped balloons. Okay. Bunch of balloons, heart shaped and regular of many colors. If you're just doing audio only. All right. Caption the balloon photo. Auditions for a part in the next up movie. That's good. Circuit busters. <laughs> Doug says, this makes commuting so easy. Love escapes me. 
25 Luft Balloons, Mylar Roundup. It's a mess when they land. Transform a nightmare. Celebrity chat room of the week gift balloons. Won't you be my neighbor or more? Left my heart in San Francisco. We're headed for the Great Plastic Sea. Just below this picture is a house. Two more balloons and I should lift off the ground. Who let the balloons go for the fizz fizz party? Up, up, and away. Which one would you shoot down from the floating chair first? Hearts would be hard. The new Pixar movie, yup. So many Hindenburgs. Oh, the humanity. Like a balloon, my heart breaks easily. Wow, Gumby. Oh, these are illegal in 24 states. Replace Judy in the Sky with diamonds. She loves me, shoots one. She loves me not, shoots another. I tied these to my lawn chair. I wonder how high I can get. Wouldn't you like to ride? And we'll end with, it's a small balloon world. Okay, George said, for the colorful metallic balloons, my uh, my caption is, we're sorry, Larry, but he's got away from us. Hang tight. We're going out now to buy you more. Okay. And photo four. Oh, my God. Looks like a baby ostrich with the mouth wide open. I don't know if it's baby or not, but it looks like it doesn't have many feathers. Okay. Some kind of ostrich mouth wide open. Um, ostrich gone wild. And then she cackled. That's me. I want a clock bar. Ready for my podcast. Went to the worst dentist ever. Look, my no teeth. And another thing. Hey, who took all, I guess that's all the sand. Monday before coffee, I want a clock bar. Where's my sand? Ready, set, squawk, water. Has anybody seen my dentures? Get off me. I'm not a horse. That's all about the mouth anatomy I can handle. Phyllis still after a facelift. Who stole my makeup? Auditioning for the Met? You watch the beak. I'm watching the bird feet. I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. DeMille. Do I have seed breath? Uh, kiss me. Just say, ah. Hey, Ma, I found the eggs. They were attached to a bunch of balloons. Ostrich needs a timeout. Who stole my egg? And it'll end with N4BFR. Who can resist those eyelashes? Okay. George said, for the ostrich with his mouth wide open, my caption is, hey, everybody, I'm learning to become an auctioneer. How am I doing? Uh, that that's uh very good. Okay, photo five. Uh, strawberry shortcake eclairs. Strawberry shortcake eclairs. I guess. Um, cream, pastry, strawberries, powdered sugar. Oh my God. Really good. Uh, goodbye diet. Melts in your mouth. Last meal before the electric chair. This is why I eat dessert first. Breakfast of champions. Uh, it kind of looks like a face. Just apply that directly to my hips. Myra snack. Danger. That looks delish. M-R-E for 2023. Get Class of ranges, dessert stairway to heaven. Pastries to be eaten later. Show's over, let's eat. Who needs lunch when you have these? Time for dessert. It's not the cream that gets you. It's the diabetic coma later. I want, says Myra. My blood sugar is rising just looking at those sweets. 
So much for bathing suit body. Paint me your Sarah Lee. No calories? Yeah, right. I have complaints. And we'll end with Stooge. Gained eight pounds looking at this picture. Uh, okay. George said, for the creamy strawberry dessert, my caption is, step right up. I'll have two of these for every one of you. Grab a cold glass of milk as you pass by. Uh, okay. Photo six of six. Oh, okay. We're on the beach and there are five changing rooms of five different colors. Okay. At the beach, five changing rooms, each one a different color. Uh, gender neutral toilets, house in the middle is blue, outhouse in the middle, sh snack, a shack in the middle. <laughs> My God, they're almost all the same. The outhouse in the middle, blue outhouse in the middle, blue house in the middle. Beach room bingo, perfect Labor Day dessert. They paint. Uh, they better paint the one in the middle white or else red house is on the right now. Rainbow rooms. They are not in chromatic order. Waiting for the explosion. Okay, where's the one for orange people? An outhouse by any color is still an outhouse. They are in chromatic but, order. <laughs> uh, I want the pink one. Uh, oh, they're going so fast. Use the one that smells the least. What color am I today? Crayola huts, rainbow toilets, the blue outhouse in the middle, uh, chakra changing rooms, the original spectrum head end. Choose the color for what comes out. Oh, my God. Restrooms for pride parade. Red, pink, and fabulous. Kodachrome village. Depends on the weather, which color to go in. I like tassels, ridic ridiculous, red and orange house on the ends. And we'll end with Martron. How much is it to rent these condos? Okay. Um, for the five color changing rooms on the beach, my caption is more people choose the blue hut to change clothes in. I wonder why that is. Uh, what was funny? What they were like outhouses. Oh, everybody think calling them outhouses. <laughs> okay. Um. All right, George. Well, that was George's answer. And now, you're right. George said, "You're right. It is fact time." Chat room about jumping. Okay, George said the first fact is uh, a fact is about jumping. It's the flea. How? Oh, okay. The flea can jump how many times its body height? A flea can jump how many times its, by, its body height? Wow, a hundred, a thousand, fifty times. <laughs> Depends on how tall the dog is. Wow, these are high numbers. A million, seventy. Mari, you have an answer? Six thousand. Six thousand times its original body length. Uh, Burke? I'm thinking it's at least 50, but maybe 100 times. 50, but maybe 100? Yeah. It's at least uh, 50 times. It's at least 50. Okay. Yeah. And if Burke was to go the middle range of his answer, he would be one of the closest because the answer is a flea can jump 
one can jump a hundred times its body height for a total of seven inches. Boy. Which is pretty hmm. far when you're like yeah pencil head. when when you, you don't you can't even be seen <laughs> this is just a crazy fact no <clears throat> no knowledge needed the creator of the pringle can anybody want to finish Does anybody know this story well, let's, let's just for last creator of the pringle can died and what happened okay the creator of the pringle chips died and what happened uh this is very good he this is very <laughs> that the, the you almost all of you are correct all right i'll just read the fact the creator of the Pringle can is buried in one. Fred Bauer, who died in 2006, is buried in the original flavor can. That is so I'm sure. I funny. hope that was the request of his. Yeah, I hope. <laughs> no, I think he requested garlic. Wait, did they cremate him first, I hope, too? Uh, 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 it doesn't say. <laughs> Otherwise, that would have to be one hell of a big can. Or I assume they're not cremated. all of them, definitely. Y yeah. Um, the tiny tuxedo penguins that we know today, their relatives now extinct, used to be how tall? Okay. The tiny pang the tiny tuxedo penguins that we know today had relatives that are now extinct, but were how tall? That's got some decent answers here. All right. Tiny tuxedo penguins, you know, today had relatives now extinct that were how tall? Myra? Five feet eight inches. Five feet eight inches. Burke? Uh, 12 foot, 12 feet. 12 feet. Because all birds wow. were dinosaurs at some point. But, oh, okay. But if they're talking about non dinosaur, I would say four. Uh, okay. Chat room has a lot of correct answers. The answer is they were six feet tall and they weighed over 200 pounds. Yikes. <laughs> the ancestors of tiny tuxedo penguins were six feet tall. Boy, that's big. It's a big penguin. Wow. Where, ugh, what do they eat? Do they eat the same things? Uh, probably fish. Anything, Don't penguins eat fish? I guess. Yeah. Anything that they could come across them. Yeah. And a lot of those strawberry desserts, they love those. Uh, a naval engineer, Richard James, was trying to come up with a spring that would make ships more stable in choppy water. He ended up with something better. The coiled spring became blank. All right, some people are going to know this, and some aren't. A naval engineer, Richard James, was trying to come up with a spring that would make ships more stable and choppy water, ended up with something better. His coiled spring became blank. <laughs> Myra? He's not slinking. Uh, Burke. I wanted to say a gyroscope, but that doesn't make sense. That would be better than a slinky, but I'm feeling like it's slinky, probably. It is slinky, which, by the way, is, I was at some toy event. I think it, it's 50 years old. Oh, does it say what year? No, it Yeah, doesn't. I'm with Webster, too. I was thinking car suspension at first. Yeah. Oh, Okay. So the Slinky is like 40 or 50 years old. Um, 
George ha- says, you were all on the best po- <laughs> you you were all on the best podcast show on Saturday afternoon. Thanks everyone. See you next time by George. Thank George. These are so great. This is so great. Uh, okay, instead of chat room celebrity of the week, we're going to do four minutes of Leo and I from about 13 years and four months ago. And here it is. All right. I am now ready. Okay, I will give you the advertisement. This is, ladies and gentlemen, I saw you had this, but I couldn't figure out what this This, was for. This goes back to 1985. It says J.A. Bone shaft, <laughs> something like that. Bone shaft, born shaft, copper bottom, copper bottom cookware. cookware. Well, I love this. Okay, now what's wrong with that? Okay, first of all, this company always the headline always, and and that's the flyer. So, the, yeah. But the ad always started out with, "Why are we giving away the nationally advertised JA Bone Shaft cookware for just nineteen ninety five? Now, I always thought if you were giving something away, it was in 1995. But it says, these are the most popular, the, the most, most, popular, expensive the most expensive copper bottom copper cookware, bottom cookware. Ever sold by this company. <laughs> <laughs> There's a There's little There's the little thing, right. The heat resistant handles let you lift them quickly. <laughs> oh, now, is before, that always. Before the pot falls apart. Is that always. Yeah. Right. I want to lift that quickly. Right. Okay. Here it is. Here's the, the copper it's bottom. It's copper right. bottom. The copper bottom. And to just show you the quality. If well, it he's says, bending it in if half. It says, fold the omelet. <laughs> do not fold the copper <laughs> bottom can. cookware. Right. Dick, you can only do that demo once. I know. I it's kept them in business. Good. I bought about 50 cents. And, and this is the... Oh, the handle the came, handle, came off quickly. The handle, there. Yeah, the handle. Holy cow. Quick, you, <laughs> I literally bought 20. Oh, I did my it on goodness. Me. This is junk. It really is junk. I got a, I got a letter. How the, could they get away no with selling this? No emails back then. Uh, a lady wrote me a letter and said, Dick, I'm, show, I'm so glad you showed this on television. She said, I cooked with it for two days and burned a hole right through the bottom. Oh, of I'm the sure. Pot. It's tin. It's like thin. It's like a tin can. Yeah. Yeah, but it is copper bottom. It is copper bottom. Copper colored anyway. And they are pot shaped. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I mean, you could see how... Beautifully, <laughs> that crafted that handle is. Now, how much were they? Were they expensive? They were twenty bucks. Oh, that's a lot for that. And five dollars shipping. This is nineteen eighty four. That's an that's you know what that's a ripoff. Dollars. That's like that's a hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah, about five thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah. Each. No, it was out. It was an out and out ripoff. Oh my! Yeah, goodness. but the problem was on every show I'd fold a pot. You know, the giveaway pot. might be that the name of the company was Bone, Bone Shaft. Shaft. Yeah, I think that means how to get shafted in Danish. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting shafted. <laughs> that might have been. You know, they might have thought about uh, yeah. changing the name anyway. Yeah, anyway. This is the most expensive, highest quality we've ever, ever sold. sold. Right. I, I love. I, and wow. I love the hand. The handles let you lift the pots quickly. Wow. I mean, what? Did oh. Julia Child always say? I know this pot lifts Ooh, way so too. Slow. Slow handles. This is, this is a very Do slow. Do not buy pot. this pot. It's slow. It's <laughs> lifting slowly. Oh, oh and, and then there is a limit of just two sets per address. Yes. But if you order in the next eleven days, yes. you may order five sets. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah. There's never. There's no date on the thing. Yes. <laughs> eleven the, days. The next eleven. Of any time of, in your imagination. Probably today. <laughs> <laughs> you still could get it. You can still get them. We still wow. have them in the warehouse. Wow. Anyway, so that's a gadget. Hey, warehouse. look at my sleeve. Whoa! It's got a screw you. Oh, how funny. I, I think this is my new logo. <laughs> it says, you know, it's got the, can you see that? It's got a, uh, a screw going into the U and oh, an exclamation so mark. I guess that's the, I was thinking that should be my new logo. <laughs> uh, what's funny is that mine says, screw Leo. <laughs> Do you have that on the No, on your I don't. I don't. Oh, no. this is funny. This is this is what I've been looking for, the new Leo Laporte Screw You edition. Oh, how funny. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> and we can go out oh, there. Brilliant. It's subtle. It's subtle. That was subtle, great. Subtle, subtle that was comedy. great fun. Yes, the- that was great fun. Yeah, Kmart's best selling. <laughs> that was uh 
you know, ripoffs back then before the internet was this kind of thing. Uh, the most outrageous was win a, a Chevy Blazer, and it was a Blazer with the Chevy logo on it. Um, what else did I what? buy? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> and the funny thing is, yeah, that's a ripoff. Well, yeah. Maybe. How much was yeah. it? Um, uh, I I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> But it was very funny because I was on a show and uh, I think it was Regis and uh, and and it showed this assortment of mirrors on on a, on the wall and you know a square one and an oval one and stuff and and I said so Regis I I bought them and uh, can you help me here uh, they're in a carton under the desk and we both reached down and we're groaning and stuff and we bring it up. And they're compact mirrors. They're like this big. And then the oval one is like this big. And they were like $10. And someone wrote me said, where do you get those great mirrors that you showed on Regis? And I'm thinking, are you kidding me? Go to Woolworths. Anyway, okay. We're going to do logo. We're going to do, I'm not saying you're dumb. Um, oh, okay. What? Vacation did Club Med popularize by including meals, drinks, and activities? What kind of vacation did Club Med popularize with vacations that included meals, drinks, and <laughs> YMCA? All inclusive, scam vacation, staycation, weight hiders, orgies, the club med well fed. Well, you should sell that to them. Overpriced prison That's camp, SS Minnow. Uh, Marv, what was your answer? Conception and Paradise. Conception and Paradise. <laughs> Burke, do you know? Uh, expensive. Uh, expensive. Uh, All included, definitely. Oh yeah, chat room. You're. They were called. They're all inclusive. A lot of people with the complete right answer. All inclusive. Um. What? What? Chat room. Lots of luck with this. What adrenaline rising circus activity? Is taught at some club med resorts. You know. Oh, don't say it. Type it. Myra knows. God, what adrenaline ri uh, raising activity is. Oh. Oh, my God. Burke, do you, what's your guess? I would not. No I was not going to say trapeze, but I was going to say like uh, where the where the elephant like almost sits on you. But <laughs> that that's adrenaline rising right there. That's a, yeah. It is indeed uh, teaching trapeze. Oh my god, chat room. That's that's great. Um, I'm sure they have nets though. Oh, Club Med slogan. See, oh, Myra's typing already. I know. Where happiness means blank. I'm giving you the first part. What was Club Med's slogan? Where happiness means they have nets, STDs, profits, a blank check. Oh, okay. So this is not a popular slogan. <laughs> when we have all your money, you're still alive. Where happiness means getting out alive. Happiness means no underwear. Happiness means getting a room with a bathroom. Oh my God, no one has it. Uh, empty bank account. <laughs> Clean bill of health, a warm puppy, adultery. Oh my God. Well, it shows you how stupid this slogan was. Um, Club Med lives up to its slogan. Where happiness means the world. Oh, Chumley. Oh, I was going to say, uh, I mean, happiness means uh, you get to leave the kids at home. 
Shemley, unless you Googled it, I believe you're the only one who got it. Well, what wow. Myra type? What did you type again, Myra? There's no cue for the hangover. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that's very good, chat room. Um, oh, this is... In 1940... This an outdoors man patented the first quilled down jacket and named the brand after himself. In 1940, this outdoors man patented the first quilted down jacket and named it after himself. And named his company after himself. Dungaree Joe. L.L. Bean. D.B. Cooper. Yul Gibbons. Hell Hell Bin. Stay Puffed. What was the year again? 1940. Parker. Eddie Bauer. Big Five. Jed Clampett. Porcupines are Us. Well, we have Myra's answer, Burke. Outdoorsman, I first think it's Eddie jacket. Bauer. I feel like it's Eddie Bauer. And the answer is Eddie Bauer. Very good. Very good. Oh, what does the movie related abbreviation AMPAS stand for? A M P A S. Boy, I know some of it. I don't know it all. What does the movie-related abbreviation AMPAS, A-M-P-A-S, stand for? I bet Scott Wilkinson knows. Uh, another movie putrid suck. You're missing... An A. A M P M still movie pass. I see American right answer. Uh uh. Mara, what's your answer? Oh, and Mara's typing it. Um Association of Potato Arrival Stewardesses. Well, Myra, the only one that got it right. Uh, it is indeed. And Burke, what's your answer? You said you you saw the right answer. I didn't know it, but uh, I believe it's American motion pictures arts and sciences or something or something like that it is um academy of there you go motion picture arts and sciences very do oh okay i know this what brand used it takes a tough man to make a tender chicken don't say it out loud what brand used a slogan it takes a tough man to make a tender chicken. Uh, no. Myra, do you know? Uh, Purdue, Burke? I have no idea. It is indeed... Magoo has it, Purdue Frank, except Frank Purdue. Uh, she did it the other way. Frank Purdue. Now, that's a slogan that worked. Um, no, you know, maybe. What company used the slogan Liquid Fast? This is very hard. Let me see. I don't think anybody's going to get this. What company used the slogan Liquid Fast? No. I'm not even sure what it was for. Uh, x -Lex? No, we've got a lot of people putting x -Lex. Pledge? Some kind of enema company? Uh, 
liquid fast, no one, okay. Brooke, you have no answer, right? Uh, no correct answer. I was going to uh, say sulfuric acid, you know. But. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, it's a stupid slogan. No one got it. I'm too old to come. Advil liquid gels use the slogan liquid fast. Wow. That's a tough one out of wow. context. That is. That that really is a tough one. Oh, this, okay. We'll go easy now. Real estate broker firm that uses a hot air balloon in their logo. Real estate broker, national real estate broker that uses a hot air balloon in their logo. All right. All right. Anybody get the spelling right? Yeah, a lot of people. Burke, your answer? Remax? It is, Myra, you knew that? Yeah, okay. Everybody knew that. All right, one more on this card. <clears throat> I don't know if anybody's going to know this. In Korean, Hyundai means blank. You, Myra knows? Hyundai. In Korean, Hyundai... <laughs> cheap car it doesn't run sucker oh that's funny Ratsa Ruck friendship top of bottom the coin is green it actually means Kia Honda Light don't buy if you're smart very cheap Cush Ride Wow, no refunds? Boy, they don't have a good reputation. Horse? Horse. Uh, no one has it. In Korean, Hyundai means... No one has it. Uh, it doesn't. I don't even think it fits anything. Hyundai means present time. What does that mean? Uh, that's a literal Pres translation, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, 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 let me see. We have a few more things. Okay, we can do another one. Oh, okay, good. I'm not saying you're stupid. What percentage of water on Earth is salt? Kia means service loaner. That's funny. What percentage of the water on Earth is salt water? Wow. Wow. No. Oh, you know what? Maybe. You're right. You know what? Looking at these answers, <laughs> I'm going with 92%. What was yours? What's yours? 87.5. Uh, Burke? 85%. What, per what percentage of water on Earth is salt water? Boy, everybody's pretty up there. Uh, oh, my God. Dale Paco? Dead on? Sluggo, pretty close. 97%. Of the Earth's water is salt, and I believe this <sighs> game lot. was copyrighted in 2020. Yeah, I think that's probably right. Um, pretty deep oceans. Oh, this should be easy, boy. Uh, what year did Charlie Chaplin's first movie come out? I mean, we can all get in the area. Wow. No. Boy, I'm going with, I'm going to go with 1926. Wow. Really? What year did Charlie Chaplin's first movie come out? Mara, what's yours? 1910. 1910? Burke? I have no idea. I was going to say, yeah, I was, no. I don't I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> 
Wow. Well, first movie, I'm sure that was must have been had to be a no talking. Uh 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 oh my god. Uh wow, way before 1914. Not, well, Logan, you're pretty close to 1911. Sluggo, 1911. Declare, 1912. Becky! Becky, dead on. Becky, do you enjoy it when you went to the premiere? <laughs> uh -uh. Um, all right. Wow. Oh. How the hell do you answer this? If you could drill a hole straight down through the middle of the earth and slide down it. How long would it take to reach the other side? Sliding, not if, falling? No, sliding. Hmm. If you could drill a hole straight through the middle of the earth and slide down it, how long would it take to reach the other side? You're falling you're sliding fast. I don't know, two hours. Thirty seconds. This is to the other side of the earth, right? Not just to the side. Yeah, for one yeah, yeah. You drill a hole in one part of the earth and you come out the bottom. Five weeks. Travis Mech said, You'll get stuck in the middle due to gravity. This question has no gravity. Two days, four weeks. 20 minutes, three days. All right. Becky's 42 hours. What's your answer? I have, the question makes no sense. Yeah, I know. It's very, yeah. Well, it's a theoretical, clearly. It's, it's theoretical. Impossible. Yeah, yeah. I even forgot what I said. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say 24 hours. All uh, right. I'm going with Burke. I'm going one. No, I'm going half of what you did. I'm going twelve hours. What are you in for? That's a. It's it's a long time. Whatever it is. What? I don't know. Oh, did I say twenty minutes? No, you said twelve hours. No, who? Redaculous said. Dick said twenty minutes. Anyway, <laughs> Bill in Michigan said it's low, like twenty minutes. Yeah, it is. It's 42 minutes. That's got to be falling, not... There's no way you could slide. That You're right. Okay, falling. Okay, 22 minutes. I mean, uh, wow. 42 minutes. 42. Okay. 42. That's got to be right, that was fast. Fun. That was fun. Nice. Uh, okay, so we're going to do a snappy answer. Okay, I didn't even... I'm running out of snappy answer in this book, so I just wrote one, okay? So, oh, we have to do our uh, stupid fact first. Wait, how can from... you run out? <laughs> don't you have? I think don't you have a warehouse full with a padlock? Uh, uh, not stupid, not not stupid question. Oh, okay. okay, we have to do our junky, our funky food from Guinness Book of World Weird Records. The largest rice cake ever made was twelve feet. Two inches in diameter. What did it weigh? The world's oh, <laughs> photo. <laughs> this is a big. That is big. There's a crane, I guess, about to lift it and dump it on the audience. Uh, a rice cake. The world record for a rice cake is 12 feet, two inches. What did it weigh? Mm -mm -mm. Um, I'm going 800 pounds. I'm writing it down because I can never remember what I said. I'm going 800 pounds. Uh, Burke? 2,000 pounds. 2,000 pounds. Okay. And Myra? Yeah, it's a Quaker rice cake. It's about 2 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Myra's in for two pounds if it's from Quaker. They do build very light rice cake. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, 15,000. Thousand. Whoa, I was way off. Um, okay. Jim at, the 12, at the 12th 
World Rice Food Festival in South Korea, a rice cake was presented that was 12 feet, two inches in diameter, and weighed 8,113 pounds. Oh, my God, Bill in Michigan, did you say 8,600? Very close. Jim, uh, Taz, what did you say? Wow. Okay. All right, very good, chat room. This is great fun. All right, we're going to do our snappy answer. Okay, guy standing next to his car fuming and and cursing. And there's a big ticket on his windshield wiper. And a guy walking by says, oh, did you get a ticket? And you being really PO'd, give him a snappy answer that is, did you get a ticket? And you say, uh, 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 no, oh, that's no, my car did. No, I won the lottery. No one, someone attached my car to a ticket. No, it's a love letter from a cop. Oh, these are very good chat room. Uh, yes, it's to the policeman's ball. No, it's a coupon for a free fill up. No, I just wanted to give one and the guy came back. No, it's an invitation to give money to the city. <laughs> That's very funny. Uh, I got an invitation to Cinderella's ball. No, I, it's a repair bill. Uh, it's a note so I know where I park my car. It's a lottery winning ticket. These are very good. No, someone left me their number. No, it's an invitation to court. Offer to buy my car. It's a note from your mom. It's the meter maid's number. Got an invitation to the queen's fancy ball. No, I'm a cop. I can't get the ticket to stick to the windshield. That's very, these are great. No, I'm wiping a dead buck off, a dead bug off my windshield. No, lottery is at $1.1 billion and I bought a ticket. No, it's yours now. It's a get-out-of-jail-free card. Yes, I got a ticket to a concert. No, it's a party invite. No, here's the winning lotto numbers. Take it. No, it's a Chinese takeout menu. Meet me in the alley when you read this. You'll know what to do. <laughs> Logan says, no, the wind carried it from another car windshield. And we'll end with Giz one. I just needed a reminder to get gas. Uh, all right, I'm going to call. <laughs> uh, I'm calling Dennis. Do you want to get Alex on the horn? I will and try him again. I was been calling him early. Oh, we'll see. Okay. Uh, get Dennis a bottom. Um. All right, and. Um. It's a donkey gram. Um, okay. Da -da All right. Da -da -dum -bum. All right. Let me get my match game questions. Bum -bum. Right. Okay. Here we go. Oh, Julia Child. We talked about her earlier. Julia Child said, I met the dullest man in the world. I invited him for dinner and said, I'll make anything you want. And he said, make me a blank. Julia Child said, I met the dullest man in the world. I invited him for dinner I said, I'll make you anything you want. And he said, make me. Okay. This, I got to get matches with this. I have to get matches. Oh, good, good. Yay. Thinking music. Uh, uh, uh. I won't look up until I finish writing. I expect to see a lot of matches.
What? I don't see any matches. What? Um, okay, Burke, we'll start with you. Julia Child said, oh, it was, okay. Dennis, think about this for your answer. Say it out loud when I call you. Uh, Burke, Julia Child said, I met the dullest man in the world. I invited him for dinner, told him I would make anything he wanted, and he said, make me some food. Oh, my God. Okay. Peanut butter jelly show. Oh, right. Dennis's answer was peanut butter and jelly. Jim Tess's answer was peanut butter and jelly. Okay, Myra said hard boiled egg. You get any matches? I don't know. Uh, 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 peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I mean, it was the most boring person in the food in the in the world. I don't know how some food could not be a right answer. Uh, uh, Alex still didn't answer. No. Oh, you know what? I think Alex said he's going to be away for two or three weeks. That's why he didn't answer. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Frankenstein said to Igor, his assistant, did you get this brain from a stripper? Because the monster is putting on blank. Frankenstein said to Igor, his assistant, did you get this brain from a stripper? Because the monster is over there putting on blank. I don't know how to spell it, but. Uh, all right. Now we're getting some matches. Now we're getting some matches. Uh, <laughs> well, PG sort of rated. Uh, putting on glitter, lingerie, pretensions. Glitter, a diving suit, a push-up bra, thongs, a show, putting on the Ritz, cheap perfume. Uh, okay, Mara, we'll start with you. Did you get this rain from a stripper? Of course, the monster is putting on, oh, pasties, a lot of matches. Uh -uh -uh. Burke, you said the monster is over there putting on... Pasties. Oh, yeah, that's a match. Dick D said pasties. And Dennis said, uh, you must have got a match, I think. A G-string. No one put a G-string? Wow. Wow. A and, okay, so we got everybody. Uh, uh, um. oh. Dumb Donald, the American politician was so dumb when he meant met the french politician instead of his cheeks he kissed both his blanks <laughs> dumb down to the american politician <laughs> was so dumb when he meant the french politician he kissed both his blanks uh all right uh, 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 um. uh, let me see if I got any other cheeks, buttocks, cheeks, ears, rings, eyes, berets, white flags, butt cheeks, toupees, both his hands, both his nostrils. Um, okay, I'm going to start with me. Uh, dumb down to the American politician, so dumb when he met the French politician instead of his cheek, he kissed both his ears. Mm. No, I got five matches. Thank you. Uh, Myra said, kiss both his rings. I don't know, did you get any matches? Mm. A couple. Myra got some matches. Okay, <laughs> then it said. Both his croquettes. All right. Now you can do the buzzer. And Burke, you said he was so dumb, he kissed both his middle fingers. Charlie. Charlie. Oh. 
Tarzan said, me go to city. Me get modern ideas. Now my loincloth have blank. Tarzan said, me go to city, me get modern ideas. Now my loincloth have blank. Charlie, you can go after this question. Oh, my God. Charlie. Charlie, that is so funny. Uh, okay, we're gonna. Did you hear chat room? Could you hear Charlie in the background? Um, uh, Velcro pockets, zipper, tracking togs, brand logos, cargo pockets for cell phone. These are very funny. Velcro, quick release, glitter borders. Velcro brand hook and loop. Um, okay, Burke, we'll start with you. Tarzan, go to city. Tarzan, get modern ideas. Now my loincloth have zippers. That's, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, I'm not sure I got an exact match. Uh, my loincloth have Gucci stripe. Uh, oh, Myra said zipper. Excellent. Uh, Dennis said, oh, that's very funny. My loincloth have washing instructions. No match, but that's very, that's, we'll give you, we'll give you credit for that. That's fine. Uh, that's, all that's right. A good one. That was very funny. That's very funny. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the hour mark which means the out of control Charlie, the dog. Oh my God. He said, Oh my God. Am I coming? Wait, Charlie. That's the wrong way. <laughs> okay. 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 I'll put you up this way. Okay. So we can see your tail. Okay. Oh, look at the tail dog. Oh, wow. Um, it's sir. Wags a lot. Ladies and gentlemen. So wags a lot. Yeah. Okay. Charlie. Okay. Yeah, uh, 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 <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, where am I going? Where am I going? What am I seeing? I'm sorry, what are you doing? Where are you going? Oh, look at that tail. Look at that tail. Okay, 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 Charlie. Oh my god, Charlie. Next time do it, we have to go a little too. Uh. <laughs> Helicopter butt. Uh, Burke, that was very good. That was excellent. Thank you. It was pretty um, good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this has been regular old-fashioned Giz Fizz. Oh. Thank you, thank you. Regular old-fashioned Giz Fizz is a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman, Dick D. Bartolo. Charlie the Dog, Myra Joyce, Dennis Wonderlin, Bargain Basement Burke, Roving Jammer B, Missing Alex Gumpel, Becky, Beatmaster, Bill in Michigan, Scooter X, Rufus, Super Roo, Mandy the Clown, Caesar, Sly One, Manly, ZX, Dale Paco, Be Becky, Jim Mez, Johnny Monday, Giz One, Ridiculous Adam 24 Cartoon Steve Stooge Geek Wannabe Magoo and Magoo 2 and Loke where's Loke? Demos uh, Myra Joyce Gumby oh did we run out of music? I guess we did remember it's brought to you by Turtle we did. <laughs> it's not just for turtles anymore bye actually broke down very that was good. Thanks, chat room. This was great fun. Thank you. Good job. Uh, yeah, no. Okay, that was excellent. So, uh, Burke will be with us for several weeks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Take care, chat room. Bye. Bye, Dick. Bye. Thanks, Burke. Bye, chat room. Bye, Burke. That Bye, was, Myra. That was very good. <laughs> okay.